Good cut, good cut. Good morning everybody okay I'm back on the YouTube grind I've been away for a while we'll talk about that in a minute but I'm back me and Brant we're gonna go do some heavy-duty fishing it's a foggy morning check out how foggy it is but that means fish foggy means fish I like it when it's foggy it's like the fog of war there he is the man the myth the legend person. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this homeless guy filming me? <laughs> so I found him right here. He's taking me to a G14 classified spot. I have no idea what that means. It means that it's a secret spot and uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to I don't know if we're gonna be able to see how to get there dude. Yeah. yeah. Like that is a complete white out in front of the boat right We're there. gonna check out your compass skills. This is the Pensacola Yacht Club right here. Lots of ducks out this morning. Perfect like probably 70 to 68 degrees. So it's still the middle of like February. There's not a lot of fishing going on. We got some crabs for bait. We got crabs. We got crabs everybody. Crabs for bait. And we got shrimps. We got live shrimps. Pretty pumped about that. brand has got this big old popping cork over here. See that thing? That's about to make it gurgle. I've never really fished with one, I don't think. We're just gonna get weird with it. We're gonna get weird with it until everybody knows how to get weird with it. So we'll see you in a minute. And we're off! Check it out, the bridge just came out of out of the fog. Okay, so we got to the first spot and I absolutely have no idea where I'm at. None. Brand took me through the fog. I felt like a Viking. We almost hit the three mile bridge and I swore I saw land. And you know how you get these ripples that are coming across? Cause like over here it's completely calm and then all of a sudden over here there's these ripples. And I thought it was a rainstorm, but I'm not wet. I'm just a little damp. I did, I did, we didn't rain, but we're at our first spot. And we're going to go for some trouts. And then hopefully we're going to run over I've and... Caught a, I've caught a tarpon in here. Caught a tarpon? Dude, I'd love a tarpon. Of course, I don't, think, I don't even think we can see him jump. It's so, it's so foggy. We almost had like two birds. A couple frogs went flying by. No, not really. But like it was foggy on the way over here. I have no idea where I'm at. I think I'm somewhere over by Gulf Breeze. That's a guess because we almost hit the three mile bridge. And then we went right. I don't know. We could have gone back left. We changed, we changed like three times. But we're going to get to fishing. There's the, there's the line right there. Coming through the fog. So we moved in a little closer. I can actually see land now. It's super tough keeping this lens from fogging up because it's that foggy out here. Like, there's literally water running down my glasses and face because it's so foggy. It's been like this for days in Pensacola. Look, it's already fogging up again. Okay, so we're on like our third spot. We've banged the pylons all the way down. Now we're here in the channel and uh, Branch just smoked a ground mullet. It was a, it was a massive whopper, but uh, we're gonna try to bang these one more time. We're using some little fiddler crabs and some white tackle. And just nothing's biting this time of year. It's just slow, you know, it's like end of February. Nothing's really going on. That's why I've been kind of taking a little time off because it's just, you know, you gotta wait until everything warms back up. You know, if it's not the sheephead bite or you're offshore, you know, banging grouper, it, it's just not a lot going on. And uh, as soon as the water temperature picks back up, be a lot more action. Right now, like the first. 
first time. Like I'm, I'm getting like a tiny, tiny bite. Oh, he's got it, I think. He's got it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Thunder lips. <Woo! laughs> All right, look at this, guys. This is a ground mullet, okay? Um, kind of like a whiting that you see, like a lot of YouTube, like Bama Beach Bum catches off the beach a lot. These whiting. This is uh, this is a ground mullet. Um, basically the same thing almost, and uh, you do catch them in the bay more so than off the beach. But uh, they're pretty good to eat. But I'm gonna let this. Go. Oh, there you go. So much for your great yeah, uh, you great go. let go. All right, we're in spot number four. We just pulled up three mile. We've pretty much spanned Pensacola Bay. We've tried the, the shallow water. We've tried the other bridge. Now we're at the big bridge. You can see the construction still going on. We're gonna bang these pylons and see what happens on the route back in. This is what we went through earlier. We came out of the fog. Alright guys, so we hit every spot that we could think of that would hold fish in February in this video. Like and and on and today was just not the day. We hit both bridges. We hit the mouth of everything. Like we did, we did everything we possibly could have done. I even tried gulp shrimp, that didn't even work. We tried filler crabs and regular shrimp. But you know, it's just this time of year, really until the water heats up like next month and the next month. But then you got the wind that sets in because March sucks because of the wind. And then you got April showers and then you're into the summer. But we're trying our best to make it entertaining. But that brings me to my next thing. Where have I been? Basically, Samantha looked at me the other day and said, let's move. Moving, <laughs> packing boxes. And I've had this house over by the water towards like downtown Pensacola for a while and it's been a rental house, but it's like a block and a half from the water. So she looked at me and was like, you know what, let's move here. I'd like to live here. And I was like, okay, let's put your house up for rent and let's move. So for the last three weeks, I have been renovating this house because it came with ultimatums. The kitchen had to be remodeled, the mud room had to be remodeled, and uh, new appliances. So I've been working my tail off, trying to get this uh, in working order, but Samantha's been right there with me, and her mom. They both came down and retiled the floors and the mud room and the kitchen. It looks great, they're finishing it up now. Uh, <laughs> and and it's, it was a lot of time in the attic. This is my current predicament. I need a junction box like right there. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. It, it was just too expensive to hire out. I had to lace up my boots and do it myself. So this is being wrapped up and I'm gonna be back into the videos, but it, you know, it really took a lot of my time. It really did. Good cut, good cut. But the one thing I learned while I was crawling around the attic and I, was, I took some time off from YouTube was that, you know, if, if you take the YouTube world too serious, it'll drive you crazy. You just got to sit back and have fun. And I realized, hey, this is just fun. This is fun. And that's the way I want to keep it. And just doing my thing and having fun, giggling and posting, having fun and posting. Uh, it's not the world's end if everything doesn't happen and, and the, the, the view count keeps going up. We're just here to have fun, and whatever happens, happens. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I've been away so long. I'm back in action. Brant's over here laughing at me with his red jacket, even though we didn't catch anything. And I'll see you guys later.